Hi students, welcome back. In the previous class, we have discussed about the rights of children. Right to education is an important right of children. Can you say when did the parliament pass the Right to Education Act? Yes, in 2009. What is the importance of the Right to Education Act? It ensures free and compulsory education to children in the age group of 6 to 14. Very good. Students, today we are going to discuss about the rights of women. Shall we continue our chapter? In 1979, the UNO passed the Convention on Women's Rights for the prevention of discrimination against women and for their uplift. What are the special rights of women? Examine this chart. Equal pay for equal work. Equal status in social, economic and political spheres. Equal opportunity to utilize scholarships and educational assistance. Equality with men in all respect is the right of women. For the protection of women's rights, women's commissions function at the national and the state levels. Complaints related to the denial of women's rights and abuse against the women can be submitted to the commission. The commission will probe into the issues and take appropriate actions. Students, in this chapter we have discussed about rights. Are we bestowed only with the rights? No. We have duties corresponding to each right. Now examine this chart. Some rights and corresponding duties are given in this chart. Freedom is my right. Sharing my freedom with others is my duty. As a child, protection is my right. To protect me is the duty of my parents. Care in old age is the right of parents. To give my parents due care in old age is my duty. Education and basic facilities for education is my right. To obey the rules of the school is my duty. In case of violation of my rights, I have the right to seek remedies. Service of the state and the society is my duty. Rights will not exist without duties. Okay students, that's all from this chapter. Shall we have a quick recap of the important points we discussed in this chapter? Governments can be categorized as democratic and non-democratic governments. The prominent factor that distinguishes democratic governments from non-democratic governments is the rights they ensure. The list of rights included in the constitution is known as the Bill of Rights. In modern times, rights are generally considered as human rights. Special consideration is given to the rights of children and women. We have duties corresponding to the rights. Hope all of you understood the topics we have discussed in this chapter. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. See you in the next class with a new chapter. Have a nice day. Thank you.